we are from group one, we would like to present our debate. But before that, I would like to uh, introduce the members of group one. The members of group one are Raimondo Valentino Tarigan, Willy William Sinaga, Hafsa, and the last is Pedro Mawan Kia. Parents of students flocked to the Bureau of Universitas Negeri Medan. The crowd was none other than the reason for applying for UKT reduction for new students or freshmen whose applications has, had been submitted since last July 25. However, because there was no further information, the parents wanted to meet directly with the counselor. There was a conversation between the parents and the campus. The discussion discussed tuition fees that are too high and are a form of injustice for poor families. The first opportunity will be given to the parents, then answered by the campus, and so on. Without further ado, let's get started. It is time for the first speaker or freshman side to convey their ideas. To the first speaker or freshman side, floor is yours. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am the representative of the prospective parents of freshman students. We came here to meet the chancellor with the aim of requesting the cancellation of patient fees for freshman students. We came here to meet the chancellor with the aim of asking for a reduction in vision for any student. Our children graduate and enter college at UNIMED through the SBMPTN and as an MPTN class. First so far, we know that we new students who graduate through the SBMPTN and as an MPTN have lower vision fees than students who enter through the independent test. But the fact, any weather out our teacher gets a tuition fee of 7 million rupiah. At least the minimum tuition fee for independent student is 5 million rupiah. How is, is it possible? A family who can afford it get that much tuition. Where is the logical point that we can find here, sir? This is very unreasonable. In fact, there is one private campus in Medan that has a Tuition fee lower than the tuition fee given by UNIMED to students who join a trope as we that. How about certainly about our children's tuition fees? Until now, there is no certainly and delay from the campus. Thank you. Okay, thank you. That is the ideas conveyed by the first speaker of freshman side. So let's move into the second first speaker uh, of campus side. Floor is yours. Um, okay, thank you. Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let me introduce myself. First, I am a chairman of Senet at University Negeri of Medan. First of all, I would like to apologize for not being able to request your request to meet with the counselor, as the counselor is currently in a meeting. So I became the counselor representative. Um, to listen to complain from student parents regarding the problem of tuition fees. Sorry in advance, sir, have you applied for a tuition reduction? If it has been submitted, then please be patient. There is no instant processor. Parents and students can wait for the decision through the system that UNIMED has created. There is no need to come in a crowd like this. Let's talk with a cool head. There is no compulsion to join UNIMED, right? Do we force your child to join this university? No, right? If you can, great. If you cannot, what can you do? Why should it be forced? Uh, there is a provision for this tuition fee based on university operations, which state that the, the total tuition fee of UNIMED is 20 million rupees per semester. If that is determined, no one will study here in UNIMED. However, UNIMED has other income such as operational assistance and activities such as a swimming pools and so on. Therefore, UNIMED can, can set the highest tuition fee of like 7.5 million per semester. 
Regarding the problem of tuition fees that are too high, we apologize. You can apply for a reduction in tuition fees to Bureau. Thank you. Okay, thank you. That's all from the first speaker of campus side. Now let's move to the second speaker of freshman side to convey their ideas. To second speaker of freshman side, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. My name is Hafsa, representing freshman students. Thank you, sir, for providing details of where the 7 million rupiah tuition money came from. The question is, should the 7 million rupiah tuition fee be charged to the underprivileged family? One example is Rahma's mother, who works scrubbing clothes in the laundry, and her father is a merchant at school. It is difficult for them to make a living, especially to pay tuition of 5 million rupiahs, even though she passed the SBM PTN test. We just want to make sure, sir, about this tuition fee reduction. Tuition fee payment will expire on August 14, 2022. Then what about our fate? Should we continue to wait without a definite answer? Sorry in advance, sir. We have been waiting for two weeks and we haven't received a definite answer. We went back and forth here and the answer is still the same, in progress. Not all of us live in Medan, sir. Not all of us have high incomes. Please understand and ask for a reduction in tuition fees. If that's the answer from Unimed, then we will wait. Hopefully, Unimed will provide a reduction that is within the capabilities of all of us. We will follow your advice by waiting for a decision regarding our rights from the Unimed website. Thank you for giving us an answer. We appreciate that. Okay. That was the ideas from, from second speaker of freshman side. Now let's move to the second speaker of campus side. Uh, to the second speaker of campus side, floor is yours. Good morning. I work in the field of Humas Universitas Negeri Medan. I understand complaints from freshman students and complaints from the parents of students. Please be patient. We understand that you need clarity. Parents of students flock here in the midst of the hot weather and only get the same answer every day. Let me be clear for you, ladies and gentlemen. The documents you have submitted are being analyzed and will be decided soon. Please wait patiently. We are also trying our best to freshman students of UNIMED. Don't worry. If the result haven't come out until the end of until the end of uh, the tuition payment schedule, we will extend the schedule. We understand your feelings. Extending the payment schedule is not difficult for us. Uh, so once again, uh, we ask for your cooperation, ladies and gentlemen, and freshman students. Don't worry about not being able to attend lectures. Just follow the introduction period for, for, new, for new students or for freshman students. Once again, we apologize, we apologize to all of you and thank you for listening to the campus reason and discussing them together. So that's all the ideas from the second speaker of campus side. Uh, that's all our debate, and we say that's all our debate today as the mid-test project. Uh, and last, we say thank you.